What is up YouTube? It's Tyler with Taz Outdoors and today we have the Sugi Lang SLT50 Round Rover and uh, I'm going to take it offshore, do a little bit of rock fishing with it and just kind of test it out. Uh, I'm fishing salt water so I'm not really sure how it's going to hold up. If you're just here for the review, just hop to the end of the video. If you want to see me catch some fish, just keep on watching. A little better one on the Chinese Yum Reel. I got a decent one on. All right. Double up. This actually might not be a whitefish. Might be. Ah. I'm waiting for a sheep head to slam it. <laughs> There we go. He hit it hard. I'll eat that. Another one of that. Nice little rockfish. Oh. It felt good. Yeah, it's good. It's probably a big white fish, honestly. You want some? Maybe. I would try and drop one in one because you'll get good bites on the shrimp, but at least if you set the hook, you know you still got a chance with the squid being on there. Yeah. Whereas like shrimp, you get bit once. Oh, yeah. Jesus. This is a good one. It's. I feel like it's a white. Oh, baby. Oh, Sheepy, baby. What is it? It's a sheep head. Really? Hey, bring your... um. Bring the measuring board. Right. It's got to be 12 inches and it's going to be close. Woo! Hey, that's a good sign though. That's a rockfish. That's a better one. Yep, he'll eat. That sheep had pulled drag on the way up. That's another good one. White fish. Unless it's another sheep. Oh. Actually, it might have just been a big rockfish. Oh, that's a white fish right there, baby. That's a white fish, baby. Another rockfish. I missed it on video. I had the video off, but just got this nice vermilion. Good one.
I got a good one. This is a really good one. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Let's go. He should get bit pretty quick. Yeah, I like that. Double. Race. Ah, 80 years old versus Chinese. Ah, ah, I don't even know if I'm getting lined. <laughs> ah, the forearm. Woo! Another one. Another good one, it feels like. Bro, I got another decent one and he hit super light. He like barely hit it. <laughs> yeah, it's a starry too, baby. What'd he do? Wow, that's like a, that's a big one of these guys though. Yes, got his ass. Oh, got his ass, let's go, let's go. I killed the bug and caught the fish. I had a bug that was messing with me. I slapped it and then stuck a fish on the hook set. You want it? All right, so when I first got this reel, um, Initial impressions is the thing was awesome. I caught a bunch of fish on it and had a great time using it. But uh, salt water, I guess, took its toll. I did rinse it every time, but it still ended up dying on me. So I used it for three trips, and this is what it sounds like now when I try and reel up a 10 ounce weight. And like, I get maybe, maybe six inches a turn. And like, like that's not going anywhere. Uh, I think it maxed out at about 10 pounds of drag. So, I mean, that was fine for what I was doing. It just died on me. So, if I'm getting this for salt water, I probably am not gonna buy another one. If I'm getting it for catfishing or that kind of thing, I'd probably give it a shot. Other than that, um, had a great time making the video. It's been a minute. But overall, the XLT500 is not something I'd purchase again. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe.